Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain BJT operational regions. Here, I'll be discussing about four different operational regions of BJT. For that, I'll be using NPN transistor and I'll keep NPN transistor in common base configuration. So here you can observe, I have used NPN transistor. This is emitter, this is base, and this is collector. NPN transistor that we are using. And this junction that is emitter base junction and this junction that is collector base junction. Here base is common in between input and output. That's why this NPN transistor that is there in common base configuration that you can say. From here we are having input, from here we are having output. That is how you can consider for common base configuration where base is common in between input and output. Now let us talk about first operational region that is saturation. See to keep BJT in saturation region, emitter base and collector base junction should be there in forward bias. So this is emitter base and this is collector base junction. Both junctions should be there in forward bias. See to keep emitter base junction in forward bias, this N type that should be connected with negative terminal of battery and this P type should be connected with positive terminal of battery. That is how we can keep this emitter base junction in forward bias. This voltage is VEB. So with the use of VEB, we are keeping this emitter base junction in forward bias. To keep collector base junction in forward bias, this P type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery and this N type collector should be connected with negative terminal of battery. So here by this VCB battery, we can keep collector base junction in forward bias. So as both of these junctions are there in forward bias, current can easily flow in between emitter and collector. Current can easily flow means what? This transistor can be used as switch on. So to have transistor switch on, we should be keeping BJT in saturation mode. In saturation mode, emitter base and collector base junction should be there in forward bias. So by this biasing voltage, we can keep that in forward bias as per the connection that you can observe over here. Right. Now let us talk about second operational region that is forward active. See this forward active region that is also called active region. In some books you will be observing they are writing active region. I have just mentioned forward active over here. See to keep BJT in forward active, we need to keep emitter base junction in forward bias and collector base junction in reverse bias. So here emitter base junction that should be there in forward bias. So forward bias means N type should be connected with negative terminal of battery and P type should be connected with positive terminal of battery. That is how we can have emitter base junction in forward bias and for forward active region collector base junction should be there in the reverse bias. So for that this P type that should be connected with negative terminal of battery and N type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery. So by this VCB, we can keep collector base junction in reverse bias. So here we have emitter base junction in forward bias, collector base junction in reverse bias means now this BJT that is there in forward active region. See in forward active region, majority of applications are there. Like we can use that as amplifier. Now how it can be used as an amplifier? See here, based on based on current IB, here current IC will get amplified. So here whatever IB is there based on that IC will increase and that IC will increase as per current gain beta, right that is IC by IB. That value of beta that could be 50, that could be 100, that is based on manufacturing of this BJT that is fixed, right. So beta value that could be 1000 even. So here you can increase current as per amplified one where collector current will increase in direct proportion of base current. 
that is where we can use this forward active region as amplifier right there are so many other applications as well like you see in my last video i have told we can use bjt as filter oscillator amplifier so this filter oscillator amplifier that we use it in active region only right active region only so as if bjt is there in active region then only these three applications are possible right now let us talk about third operational region let us talk about third operational region that is reverse active see reverse active region that we don't use with bjt why the reason is with reverse active only one application is possible that is attenuator see attenuator that could be easily deployed with some small components here with transistor attenuator is a bit difficult right even we should not be using bjt as an attenuator the reason is we need to provide biasing voltage and all those things so usually we don't use bjt in reverse active mode in reverse active mode it is possible to have attenuator but still it is costlier compared to normal attenuator that's why we don't use bjt in reverse active mode if you want to use reverse active mode then you'll have to keep emitter base junction in reverse bias collector base junction in forward bias so to keep emitter base junction in reverse bias this n type should be connected with positive terminal of battery this p type should be connected with negative terminal of battery that is how emitter base junction could be there in reverse bias and collector base junction that should be there in forward bias for that this p type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery and this n type that should be connected with negative terminal of battery that is how we can keep collector base junction in forward bias and here we can have attenuator application of bjt but we don't use bjt with this application which is attenuator right see last operational region that is cutoff in cutoff you will be observing bjt will be having emitter base and collector base both in reverse bias so to keep emitter base junction in reverse bias here n type should be connected with positive terminal of battery and p type should be connected with negative terminal of battery and to keep this collector base junction in reverse bias this p type should be connected with negative terminal of battery right and this n type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery that is how we can keep collector base junction in reverse bias see here both of these junctions are there in reverse bias and because of reverse bias in between emitter and collector current will not flow as if both junctions are there in reverse bias over here then emitter to collector and collector to emitter we cannot have flow of current means we can use this region as switch off switch off means no current can flow right so in saturation region we can have switch on in cutoff region we can have switch off and active region is having majority of applications like amplifier filter right oscillator all the applications are there with forward active region only so that is how different applications and operational regions are there with bjt i hope you have understood this still if anything that you like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video